Let's take a quick look at what it means to know your operational environment and how it relates to our workplace, relationships, cities, and countries. We often say in Special Forces that you better know your operational environment. What this means is that you need to understand and deliberately plan for what the commodities, priorities, and norms are for where you're located. In Special Forces, we are a bit more casual about military discipline and haircut standards. Sometimes we're even told to grow long hair so that we blend in with the locals and we don't look like soldiers. But the 82nd Airborne Division is made up of the uniform police and the haircut Nazis. Now imagine that a soft guy needs to coordinate something with the 82nd Airborne Division. The dumb guy, who does not understand his operational environment, will walk in all sweaty wearing his PT uniform and a baseball cap. He'll ask to speak with the colonel. The colonel's going to flip out and coordinations will be short. The guy who understands his operational environment will cut his hair, put on a coordination uniform, which has all of his patches on it, and will say sir in every sentence. This guy is going to get everything he asks for. Most often, it is essential that you know your operational environment at work. Let me tell a few army stories, then we can get into universal applications. When I was a lieutenant in the 101st Airborne Division, it was very important that you run fast. We ran four miles for PT every single morning. If you ran faster than the others, you were better than the others. It sounds stupid, but it's so true. For this reason, I trained hard and I made sure that I was a good runner. I knew my operational environment and I worked myself into prominence with the chain of command simply by being a fast runner. Years later as a captain, I worked for a total knucklehead who valued quantity of time over quality of time. I could have done all of my work well and left for home at lunch. But this boss wanted to see me working late. He would always say, put in the hours little stone. So I did. I showed up early and I showed my face. My special forces team and I did our hard morning physical training and then we got to work. When we were not training or in the field, we would then take two hour lunches to meet Casita or the Waffle House. When my guys were done with what we needed to do that day, I sent them home. Then I went for another workout. Then I came back to the team room and I would read a book. I called family and friends. I took personal time. I stayed late at the office so that my idiot boss would see how dedicated I was to the clock and respect me. In doing so, he did respect me. Better yet, he gave our team more than our fair share of money and training opportunities. So if the priorities and norms of your environment say the best leaders are those who stay late at work, then know your operational environment and stay late at work. Obviously, don't forget to come in late and enjoy a very long lunch. If the priorities and norms of your environment say that you need to have a short haircut, then know your operational environment and have a good haircut. If the priorities and norms of your environment say that you need to wear a tie, then know your operational environment and put on a silly tie. It isn't going to kill you and it will likely help you more than you know. Let's move on to relationships. If your wife likes to go to the opera, then know your operational environment, invest three hours twice a year and go to the opera. If your daughter likes to play basketball, then know your operational environment, make the sacrifice, and be the assistant coach. If you think she spends all of her time on social media, then know your operational environment, get an Instagram account so you can be a part of her life. If your wife wants you to be more romantic, but you're simply not a romantic type, then know your operational environment and deliberately plan to be romantic. Pretend it's spontaneous, but plan it deliberately. It will bring a smile to her face and your relationship will be stronger because of it. When you know the favorite commodities of those you love, know your operational environment and strengthen your relationships. Understanding your operational environment requires understanding cultural nuances and norms. For example, men in Latin America and many Middle Eastern countries only wear pants. So it is insulting or embarrassing if Americans show up wearing shorts. Know your operational environment in these locations and wear pants, even in the summer. If you're in a country where women are not respected or educated, then know your operational environment and don't send a woman to do business negotiations. 
They won't respect her and the conversation will never succeed. Send the biggest, meanest, and most aggressive man you got. The alpha male will dominate in these situations. Some cultures like to share a cup of tea with you for hours before getting to business. Know your operational environment and be patient. The one hour sipping tea will ensure the success of the negotiation. A medic friend of mine grew the most amazing red beard during his first deployment to Afghanistan. The locals loved it. Despite being the medic, not the commander, the locals gave him the nickname Commander Sean. After discovering that the local Afghan leaders valued Sean's amazing facial hair, the commander of the team knew his operational environment and made Commander Sean do all of the key leader engagements. Commander Sean was hugely successful with his civil military engagements. Thankfully, the actual commander of the team didn't let his ego get in the way of regional security. Knowing your operational environment is all about taking advantage of the favorite and most valued commodities of your situation or location. It may be a bit manipulative, but it helps you to be effective and get what you want. Okay, there you have it. A brief explanation of the essential life skill of knowing your operational environment. I hope you learned something new and are more capable of being successful and effective. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to someone who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?